When Jesus saw a crowd around him, he gave orders to cross to the other shore. A scribe approached and said to him, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens, and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. Another of his disciples said to him, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But Jesus answered him, Follow me, and let the dead bury their dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Today we're starting a new month, and today also the church in some places celebrate the memorial of St. Junipero Sierra. It's also a day to promote, to talk about the vocation, about the religious vocation, the priestly vocation, because God is still calling people to consecrate their lives to Him. But sometimes His people, young people, they don't want to open their heart and don't want to answer. Or not just that, but many are afraid to answer. And it's possibly because they feel unworthy. That was my case. Before entering the seminary, I was like, Lord, I am not worthy. I don't deserve to be your priest. I don't deserve to consecrate myself to you. You know my past. I don't deserve it. But the Lord knows, and He has the last word. So if you are a youth, or if you know someone who has doubts on whether to do, on what to do, and to answer to a religious or a priestly vocation, encourage them to not be afraid, because the Lord knows the time and His time. It's a perfect time. So let us entrust ourselves and let us pray for vocations but also let us open our hearts for Christ so He may do His will. The primacy of following Christ, a call to renunciation. When a person follows the ideas of leaders or politicians, they must renounce certain personal aspects. This is necessary because they sympathize only in certain points with the leader and are willing to sacrifice significant elements of their lives to follow them and principles. In the spiritual realm, this principle is magnified. In the Gospel, a man approached Jesus and says, Master, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus replies, Foxes have dens, and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. This means that following Christ required leaving our comfort zone and sacrificing important aspects of our lives. It also requires a response with love and gratitude. Lord, even though I know that I am not worthy, you call me for this task. You call me for this mission. I want to thank you, Lord, because you have fixed me in my eyes and called me. Now I want to respond with a generous answer, and here I am, Lord, at the imitation of our Blessed Mother. We can say, here I am, Lord, you can count on me. Where do you want me? Where do you want to send me? What do you want me to do for you? Where do you need me to transmit, to preach your love and your sacrifice? But above all, your love. Where do you want me to go? Following Christ involves a radical commitment. In my personal case, I have left my land, my family, and the possibility of having a wife and a family for the love of Christ, because He has called me. Although I don't consider myself worthy, I have responded to His call to imitate Christ in poverty, chastity, and obedience. Even if we fall in the sin or make mistakes, 
we need to recognize our mistakes and our sins and go before God and go and confess that we have sinned against Him. And He will give us the courage and the power to continue forward and not remain there in sin and slave. Living a life following Christ required detachment from material things and living in austerity before acquiring something we should ask ourselves if we really need it. Live for the essential and love God, always putting God first. And this we can learn it from St. Francis of Assisi because he lived radically poverty. So we as Franciscans of Mary, we take this element from St. Francis of Assisi. We live austerity. We try to live only with what is essential. We, as a community, as religious priests, as religious brothers, we make this commitment to follow Christ at His imitation, at the imitation of our Blessed Mother, and also taking some elements from the spirituality of St. Francis, like defending the Church and living in austerity, only with the things that are essential in our lives. Before buying something, I ask myself, do I really need this? Or am I just buying it because I want to buy it? I invite you also to practice this. Anytime you're going to buy something, ask yourself, do I really need this? Because that also manifests the way you follow Christ. And we want to follow His footsteps. So if you are a youth, I invite you to consider this calling because God, Christ, is knocking at your door and is telling you and is asking you, I need you. I want you to consecrate yourself to me. I want you to give yourself to me completely with generosity and gratitude. 